Well, it's uh, it's Saturday morning. Um, and it's interesting. Can you imagine the conversations uh, the apostles were having on Saturday morning? Uh, you look at the scriptures and and, and all the uh, all the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John go from go from taking Jesus' body to the tomb and closing it up, and then the next thing it picks up on is going to the tomb in the morning, you know, Sunday right. morning. But, but there's nothing written about Saturday, and it, it always intrigues me Saturday. Today's Saturday. But I, I, I love to put myself in the moment of Scripture, and, and those guys waking up Saturday morning and, and like thinking, man, was that a bad dream or what? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's, they'd be like, they killed him. They had to be devastated. They killed him. Yeah. He's dead. They're unbelievable. You know, I mean, and not only did they kill him, they butchered him. Man, they hung him on that cross. And, I mean, he was a, he was butchered, man. And he was a guy they had been with for three years. Right. Day and, in and, day and out. all their hopes and dreams were pinned on him, and, and he was going to you know, take over and rule. And, and then I think the fear probably started to overwhelm them. Yeah. And, and thinking like, if, if they did that to him, that we're next. Right. You know, we're next. And I mean, they were probably. I mean, they were probably beside themselves with fear, thinking, "Man, we're we're toast." Mm-hmm. There's no mention of them remembering that Jesus said he was going to come back. I, right. I don't think that they could have imagined Jesus coming back at that point. No. It, no it's they, not possible. Even though all the miracles that he had done. But, even though he told them. even though all, but, but they're living in that moment. And, and, and the fear of... And I think the fear was based upon what was going to happen to them. They were scared about what lied ahead, what was lying ahead for them. But you have to remember, too, that even with all the miracles Jesus did over the three years, they all, they, they still, you know, from one miracle to the next, to the next, they didn't think Jesus could do it. Right, right, right. You know? So that was their Saturday. And I think a lot of, I think a lot of people, uh, myself included, at times, live in this Saturday. Live in the Saturday of... Jesus has done miraculous things in my life, but I kind of discount it, and I start to get afraid about what's going to come. And you, you forget and I, what you, he did. You forget, and you, and you know that's what faith is. Faith is believing, that you, but you can't see it. But we live in the Saturday. We live in the crushed dream state. We live in the. Right. We live in the oh no, woe is me. You know, not believing. Even though we believe, we 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 doubt. You know, sure. we, we doubt. Everybody does. And then comes Sunday. Caroline and I don't celebrate Easter. We celebrate Jesus Christ saving our life and the salvation by grace that God has given us yeah. every day. Yeah, <laughs> every exactly. day. Exactly. This is we're going to celebrate it the same way we do every day, waking up and all day long thanking and praising Jesus. <clears throat> but Sunday comes and Jesus is risen and Jesus makes Himself known, and then it's like their eyes are opened and they're they're like. Whoa! And the fear, and I, I, I mean, it's not written in scripture, but I can imagine that the fear that they had on Saturday of being killed or being butchered or being crucified or being whatever for themselves on Sunday, they're like, bring it on. Yeah. I don't care. I'm telling people about my Jesus. You know, because they saw, they saw him. They saw him in the flesh, you know, return like he said he would. And so all, everything that he said just became crystal clear to them. I had to think, though, that 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 moment when they ran to the tomb and they saw that he wasn't there. Right. There had to be a little bit of fear then, too, though. Yeah, who stole him? Yeah. And just kind of like, wait a minute, whoa. I mean, just the whole, the impact right. of, wait right. a minute, we put him here the other day. Right. You know? But then things started to come together. Come they together. They thought about it. And, they and, went home. And, and, and what he said. And, you know his his garments wrapped up and on the uh, you right. know on the, which in that time meant the work was done when the, when the carpenter folded, folded up his apron up. and put it on the table right. I mean the work was done 
And so the work of Jesus was done. Hallelujah. And uh, we can't live in Saturday. We we got to believe Sunday's coming. Yeah, and, and that's hard. Uh, and, and resurrection's coming. And uh, no matter what kind of situation people are in, no matter what kind of struggles that they're going through, um, don't stay in Saturday because Sunday's coming. It may take a while, but God's God's perfect, and God's uh, God's going to help me have patience in dealing with our dog. She's digging holes She's digging in the holes, and we have no garden anymore. She pulled the plants out of the ground. That's right. But we She's love, a great gardener. We love her. She's a good weeder. Look at her. Wow. God bless you. Um, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, and I mean completely surrendered to Him, then uh, today would be a good day to do it. Yep. Because it's kind of like, what are you waiting for? But really, what are you waiting for? Because because Sunday's coming. Jesus has risen. Jesus has defeated death. And the way to go and stay in heaven is by surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. That's all I got to say about that for another year. I'll do another Saturday video next year. Yep. Same time, same place. God bless you. Have a great day. Look at her. Look at her. Sam, stop. Sam, what the heck are you doing?